Hello. This room looks important. Talking about someone else, you're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a Binding Stone or a Mark. I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it, or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the funks means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. I guess. That's what disobeying orders feels like. Not so good. it out please say yes yeah we're uh we're good to go with this i can destroy the binding stone we just have to get close enough to sandrak how do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is this mark gives me a connection to the binding stone i can 
feel where it is. I can, I can feel where Sandrak is. He's moving east, towards the deep near. There's a font in the ocean. Sounds like it. All right, pack it in. We're leaving soon. What's the play, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit. See if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirken. She'll figure out our next steps. But when you use that mark to destroy the Binding Stone, I want to be there. I want to see Sandrak's face when you just crumble it in his hand. You don't have to tell me twice, sir. All right. That'll be all, Initiate. Now head back to the Palathon. Impressive place, huh? It really is. The Aristea were exceptional builders. How do you think Sandrak found out about it? Probably dumb luck. Soko mentioned Rasharnian airships started taking new routes into Lucium. When parts of the Oriman border collapsed, right. So, they discover this shrine forge... And Sandrak's able to use his new mark to detect the location of the Binding Stone. In Ilthium? Yep. No wonder it seemed like Sandrak was overextending himself there. He was. Desperate to find that temple. Doesn't seem fair accidentally finding a doomsday weapon. Hard work should go into something like that. All right, I better go. Mm. Oh, don't forget to say hello and goodbye to Kenzie for me when you return to the Palathon. Will do. Great call getting her to come in. We wouldn't be here without her help. Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid. Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some details remain classified. I'm sure you understand. This will have to do, then. Thank you, sir. Come. Show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Ah, uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the deep mirror, but his movements are weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devon will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Clayless Traders Guild provided us with a Colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is, using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. Look. I know what I said earlier, but 
You've been hiding anything and everything about Sandrak being an immortal since day one. I deserve more than a report you wrote up. Tell me, Jack, if you had a very close friend that you shared a common cause with for the longest time, a vision of what was right and true and good, and they betrayed that vision, betrayed you, how would you feel? Would you want to talk about it? Could you talk about it? Yes, absolutely. I'd have to know how it even got to that point. Sandrak and I were companion in arms for longer than you've been alive. We stood against the Kalthus Estates, the Sea King Usurper, the Colossals of the Arjaman Pretenders, even against Rasharn, his homeland. And then one day, he refused to participate in a mission that could have very well ended the war. What mission? Read the report. And we're back to that. Look, what's important is that Sandrick had orders and he allowed his own hubris to ignore them. He made a decision that jeopardized the rest of us because he thought he knew better. Ah, yeah. Hubris sure is some bad news. It's terrible. For the breaking of his oath to the Order, I exiled him back to Rasharn as punishment, thinking his ancestral enemies there would be the death of him. That last part didn't work out. Not even a little bit. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mirror in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl, Kenzie, she wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir.
Initiate. Come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should, uh... Get hammered! Yes. That. <laughs> On my way.
there, champ. Did you get lost? No, I just... Ever wore Central here just kind of skews me out. And then someone told me about all those names out there being dead people, and it... The garden area thing, it was nice. Yeah, the names hit me pretty hard, too, when I first got here. I, I was going to leave, but then your boss lady said you were on your way back, and there I am thinking about dead people, and then, of course, I suddenly can't get Thaddeus out of my head. I'm really sorry. I know you two were close. He was such an asshole. Did he... When you hung out with him, did he talk about me at all? I... I really looked up to him. I don't really want to admit that, but whatever. Come on. You know he couldn't not mention you. Really? Really. Oh. What'd he say? Huh? Come on, what'd he say? He said you were, uh, tough. He, he really liked that about you. Tough? Yeah. You, you know, resourceful and rugged. Could fend for yourself. Oh, so it made it easier for him to leave since I could fend for myself. What? N no, no, no. Th that's not what I... What he meant. Uh, that is just really admired that part of you. <laughs> that, that, that's all. The rugged part of me. Hey, look. Those are his words, not mine. All right, then. I guess my job's done here. I'll be off. If I can remember where the exit is, oh, this place is stupidly huge. We're heading out to the Deep Mirror tomorrow to beat the hell out of Sandrak. Wanna come? The ocean? <laughs> oh, hell no. No one from Oraman knows how to swim. Well, neither does anyone from Saren. We'll both be trailblazers. Also, you're good in a fight. We could use that. I helped you out once. Do it again and I'm just another pawn of the hegemony. Count me out, soldier boy. Worth a try. Swell digs, by the way. Pretty enlightening seeing how the other half lives. Look now, I grew up in the underbridge. In the slums. I just work here. <laughs> My bad. Totally didn't realize you were keeping it real. Bye, Kenzie. And hey, thanks for the assist with finding the Shrine Forge. See ya, hot stuff. Not much left to say, really. I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just 
interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass, and I was still assigned to Lights Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Roshanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father! My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, initiate, to why I think the unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. Another. How the fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too. You. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more tired. Another. Dead. Ugh. It's him, isn't it? Sandrak's moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen, I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an Unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill at beer pong. Wait, you were there? I, I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. Come to the dock server in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> See you soon. <laughs> 